Welcome to Montgomery County, Maryland's Department of Permitting Services, DPS, improved ePlans, also known as Project Docs. ePlans is a software program used to submit and perform plan reviews electronically. In this video, we will demonstrate how to resubmit corrected information. There are multiple points within the permit application process where corrected or additional information is required. As is always the case within our ePlan system, you will first need to accept the task to understand what is required. Upon accepting your task, a window will appear which is called the eForm that serves as the primary means for you to review comments provided to you by DPS personnel, respond to those comments, invite others to your project, upload additional and or corrected information, and finally complete your task which formally resubmits your information to DPS. On your eForm, there are several tabs. The Task Information tab outlines the steps needed to complete your task. The Invite Others tab allows you to add other users with a valid email account to your project. Task instructions are provided in chronological order. You may notice gray circles with question marks on your eForm. Hovering over these will provide additional task details and instructions for that step of the task. Step 1 is reviewing the comments provided. Click the Review Comments box and a window will appear. Within this window, you will have the option to search and filter comments, add additional comments or ask questions, download selected comments, and respond to comments and or questions from permit technicians or review staff. The drop-down menus at the top of the window allow you to filter through comments from all review cycles of the project in a variety of ways. Selecting options from the drop-down menu automatically begins filtering the information. Multiple filters are permitted to be used simultaneously. To search through all review comments for the project, simply type a keyword into the search box to the right of the filter menus. Below the filter and search menus are all current comments for the project, their status, the date and time of the comment, and the reviewer. These may be downloaded by accessing the Plan Review Review Details report from the Reports tab of your project. Questions specific to the review comments can be asked without resubmitting the project by clicking the Add Comments, Ask Questions button on the right side of the window. Each box represents a review comment and displays a thumbnail of the file with the markup, the reviewer's name, the time the review comment was made, and a box for you to respond. Keep in mind that multiple instances of the issue identified may be represented by a single comment. You should always review the marked up file to ensure you have addressed all instances of the plan review comment made. To view the file which has been marked up, enter the folder where it was uploaded and click on the red exclamation mark and pencil icon to the right of the file name. In the window that appears, put a check in the view button and click the gray view box at the bottom of the window. The file, once opened, is downloadable and can be downloaded by clicking the publish button at the top of the screen and completing the menu provided. Now it is time to upload your corrected information, version files, or new files as noted in step 2 of the eForm. Corrected information must be uploaded into the same folder and with the exact same file name as the file it is replacing. The system will perform version control. Within the window that appears after clicking the Upload Files button, you will see color coding explaining what the system views your file as. A new file, a version file, or a duplicate file. Duplicate files, those which are the same as originally uploaded, will not load into your project. Only replace those files with changed information or change marks as this will expedite your review and resubmission process. As noted in previous videos, applicants are not able to delete information from the project. Where files have been erroneously uploaded, please contact DPS for assistance in removing them. Improperly submitted information will be returned to you without review. Once you've uploaded your documents, you've completed Step 2.
Step 3 of the eForm asks you to verify that you have responded to all plan review comments and have properly uploaded your information. Please keep in mind that you will not be able to provide additional information once you have completed this task. To formally submit your corrected information and notify DPS of your task completion, click Upload Complete Notify County at the bottom left of your eForm. For more information and details, visit DPS's webpage at www.montgomerycountymd.gov forward slash DPS and click anywhere you find the word eServices. Call or email your project point of contact or call 240-777-0311. Thank you for joining us and we encourage you to view other ePlan videos in this series.